Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today we're talking heating in the greenhouse, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, when I built this greenhouse, I had no idea how I was going to heat it. I thought that I was going to use like one of those 1500 watt electric heaters that you can get at any big box store. That failed miserably, okay? I had one in here, our first cold night. It didn't do jack diddly squat, okay? I have a thermometer in here, and it was easily getting into the low 40s. <laughs> for, th for those of you who have never heard of jack diddly squat, I'm from Arkansas, okay? <laughs> so we don't know who jack is and diddly squat, what, who knows? But the 1500 watt electric heater did nothing. So what did I do? An idiot like myself? I went out and I bought a second 1500 watt heater. Now we're at a whopping 3000 watts, okay? Still didn't do, you guessed it, jack diddly squat, okay? So now I have two useless 1500 watt electric heaters. So I tried the 1500 watt electric heaters, got two of them, so now we're at 3000 watts, still didn't do anything. So I had to come to the reality that that wasn't gonna work. You start reading up on it, there's so little information really. Next on the list was getting some big, the big black barrels, filling them with water, letting them absorb the heat from the sun and then radiate it out at night. Okay, I can tell you maybe that's gonna work if you're like, I don't know, in a tropical zone and for some reason you think you need a greenhouse and you don't. Um, but here, it's not gonna work because we can get down to zero degrees. And I can tell you right now, radiating heat from a big water barrel is not gonna work. It'd have to be as big as my greenhouse is. It's only 120 square feet in here, which the issue with that is literally that there's not enough room in here. We're talking about having less plants than we do barrels. So it's just pointless. That, uh, you know, if you guys want to try that, you can, um, but for me, useless. So then I ended up having to bite the bullet, pay a little bit more, and I got one of these Mr. Heater Ventless Blue Flame Propane Heaters. And put it all together in here, very simple. They said it was ventless, that's why I bought it. And it worked great. It was keeping the greenhouse I think it got down into the low 20s and it was keeping the greenhouse at 50 degrees easily. But then all of a sudden it just shut off and I couldn't figure it out. I mean, it was a ventless heater. It was like a no brainer. Like, woo, we got a ventless heater. Let's put it in there. Well, turns out it's only a ventless heater if the space is big enough. Like I said, this is a 120 square foot greenhouse. Okay. The O2 sensor in there was making the, the pilot light shut off very quickly, okay? Before I get into any of this, I just wanna say, I'm not telling you guys to go do what I did, okay? So I am not responsible for anything going on at your household. I'm just telling you what's going on here, okay? So the O2 sensor was tripping off after a lot of research. There's really not very many people talking about it. I found one group of people on a forum that were talking about the issue and so it turns out the O2 sensor was turning off the pilot light. And so now we needed to get around that problem. So let me show you what I did here. Like I said, I don't recommend doing this. I'm just telling you what I did. I'm just putting the information out into the cosmos, okay? Come close, let me show you. So as you can see in the back here, I've got this all taped up with duct tape not duct tape, duct tape. Uh, so it's the aluminum tape that they use for duct work. Down here, we have uh, more duct work that leads to the outside and we covered up all extra holes except for the ones that are leading to outside. We did this because we want it to, we want this heater to only suck in fresh air. So it's not turning off that pilot light. That was the issue. If your greenhouse is big enough, you're not gonna have that issue. Uh, it'll work fine. It was only doing it because this greenhouse is small. This heater's probably too big for this, which for me, that's a great thing because I want it to work easily. And it does, now that I have uh, the vent going to the outside, the, the only thing is fume buildup, okay? If this thing is just going and it's going hardcore, you probably don't need to be out in the greenhouse potting things up, doing Irish jigs and stuff like that, okay? 
Um, you should only have it on at night and you for sure do not need to be in here. So the thing about a greenhouse is that you're dealing with really hot temperatures in the daytime. Even if it's 30 degrees outside, it can still get to 80 degrees in here easily. So you have to have the air vent for that, even in the winter. And then at nighttime, it gets super cold. So you also need to have the heater. So you're dealing with two extremes constantly. Um, so it's not the same as heating a house. And for some reason, there's not a lot of information on the hobbyist greenhouse on this subject. So what I did, I got the Mr. Heater. Like I told you, I covered up all vents with the ductwork tape, um, except for the ones that I have going to the outside. And that's just allowing that fresh oxygen to come in and keep that pilot light on. And like I said, the fumes are not building up in here to where you're, you're, you know, you're going to die while you're in here. Okay. I'm no expert. Okay. I haven't died. <laughs> and I, like I said, I don't recommend, I'm not telling you to go do this. Okay. So I take no responsibility for what's going on at your house, but I'm just telling you what I did. Um, and it works like a charm. The greenhouse stays at least 50 degrees. Um, I will say it will go through the propane extremely fast. Um, if you have it on anything but the lowest setting, on the lowest setting, 120 square foot greenhouse, I can have it running off of one of these just normal propane tanks for four or five days. But if you bump it up to two, you're using twice as much propane and so on and so forth all the way up to level five. Level five, you're talking about heating your greenhouse to 90 degrees for like 30 minutes, okay? So that's what I did. If you guys have any questions about anything, ask them in the comments. I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. Once again, I'm throwing it out there. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just telling you what I've done. Hopefully it helps you out, the information. Um, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a, a lot of other information on all different subjects in plants. I also own the American Fig Company. I highly suggest you check it out if you're interested in figs, bringing you all different varieties of figs for affordable prices. Thanks for watching the video, guys.